Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Let's start this video off with a recent update from the mutant Nick Walker. And for a guy that's considered to be blocky and also known as the fridge to some, Nick looks pretty good just standing here with the hands on hip. And also, Nick is known for having a weak chest, but the chest looks pretty good here. Maybe it was a chest day. And it also looks like Nick is keeping the waist pretty tight, which is always a good sign. And he also posted this up recently, which was a transformation. I'm not sure how many years are in between these two photos, but I do want to share an interesting story with you guys. If you just look at these images, you would think Nick Walker started bodybuilding at this size, probably 160, 170, and put on a lot of weight really, really fast. But actually, Nick has mentioned this on Full Odd IBI's podcast in the past. On the left, Nick claimed he started their prep at 230 pounds and just lost entirely too much weight. So Nick Walker claimed to be 230 naturally, is 17 years old, just in case you guys never knew that. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Derek Lunsford. This video was grabbed from his YouTube channel where he trains shoulders with Tim Budashim. I will link the full video in the description below. And I'm pretty sure we all know that Derek can win the Mr. Olympia because he placed second last year. But I'm actually gonna go a step farther than that. I believe Derek Lunsford can come into the 2023 Mr. Olympia and win the entire show. And not only that, I believe Derek can win this year and maintain the title. But I am rooting for Heidi Chupin to win at least one more Olympia title. I'm a big fan of his physique. And even though Heidi is Mr. Olympia, he's somewhat of an underdog. I would say that more than 50% of the bodybuilding community does not expect Heidi to retain the title. But looking back through bodybuilding history, I don't think there are any bodybuilders under 5'8 to win multiple Olympia titles outside of Franco Colombo, may he rest in peace. And some would say that Franco's wins are arguable. So if Derek or Heidi are able to win more than two titles, they will be making history. And actually, Larry Scott was under five foot eight and won two titles. So throw him in there with Franco Colombo. Now, out of the history lesson, let's switch over to Beirut's Tabani, who will be competing in the Arnold South America. This guy looks crazy right now. He definitely put on some size after the Romania Pro. And Beirut didn't just bulk up after Romania. This guy put on some solid stage weight. He looks to be five to seven pounds bigger in just a few months. Now switching over to William Bonek who recently posted up some prep files and William looks great in these updates and I have to say of course this isn't a world class front double bicep but for Bonek this is pretty good and I wonder why his prep pictures have been looking so good but haven't translated to the stage. Going into the Mr. Olympia he looked incredible. These images are going to the Arnold Classic but Bonek did not look this good on stage. Something must be going wrong with him and Chad in the picking process. I think Bonek got to his heaviest weight this past offseason so the peaking process is different with more muscle. Now let's switch over to Classic Physique. We have a recent update from Robert Timms who is looking monstrous as usual. And if I didn't know who this was, I would honestly assume that Robert is an open class bodybuilder, but he has said multiple times he will remain in the Classic Physique division and Robert doesn't have the legs for open, no offense. And AJ Sims, who is the coach of Robert Timms, said he's currently eating 1500 grams of carbs a day and doing zero cardio and he looks like this crazy genetics. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Brian Ainsley. And as you guys should know by now, Brian is waiting for a special invite to compete in the 2023-212 Olympia. I love Brian. This is my favorite bodybuilder across every single division, but I don't think he's going to get this special invite. Brian, if I was you, I wouldn't hold my breath. I would go ahead and try to qualify in a 212 show. So I have a lot of time off until the Mr. Olympia. Just my opinion. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Kyrie Cooper. I've talked about this guy a few times before. He turned pro last year in men's physique and classic physique, but I think he's going to go the route of classic as a pro. I believe this guy can be very, very successful in classic physique. Top 10 Olympian. His cutoff is 200 pounds. In this image, he's 209. So I have a slight concern that in the long run, he may not have enough room to grow into the class, but we'll see. Keep your eyes on this guy. Now let's wrap up this video here with the archive of the day. You guys let me know in the comment section below if you can name all three of these bodybuilders. The guy on the left, his name is almost impossible to spell. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.